Okay, hi guys. It's a guide for the Pixel Champions. So let's start on the novice islands, the first island. So you should be here after starting and going through the base. So okay. So on the first level, you should be killing bees and crabs outside the town. They are here, and you need like 50 to 20 golds to buy pick and show cover. So uh, kill everything you can and pick up leather sets etc and sell them to any NPC in, th in the town so then when you have pick and show and if you can buy it from the crafter here and you should go this path to the to here and you will be here at the orcs so you can hunt orcs from like 3 to 7 level until you get through amulet because it is very important because another amulet is is on the tilt island so it's extra attack so it's always always good thing to have at least like kills the enchant first amulet so after you get amulet you should be hunting on skeletons until you get 1k gold to buy certificate and in meanwhile you should be when you are on the orcs you should be trying to get like oak bow and then 250 gold for spellbook with spellbook you can cast spells and uh, and enchant items this is very important so this is equipment you should get at least until you go out of the island and of course spellbook cobalt pickaxe 1k gold for certificate which can, you can buy here from king and here is a ship to travel uh, after death you lose the certificate so you have to buy it another time but if you don't die you you can use it and okay so that's exactly the end like second engine dog bog you can buy it from in pc for 885 gold so it's like 850 to make rare and that's it second island so you should be at least 10 level when you got here so it feels like in the second island you have like pve zone which is here huge but on pvp area it's better to hunt because just on time of monsters is uh, two times faster so you don't have to wait two monsters to spawn so uh, and you should be uh, hunt goose for and phantoms for level but i recommend to hunt slims until you get brass legs and backpack at least like first engine would be easy to get then you can go hunt goose goose gives the best amount of money i would say because they drop so many items so you should get brass armor from them and they drop places so you can enchant it so if someone attacks you in the pvp area just switch to the to the shield i mean just equip some kind of sword and just unequip your uh, your bow. So Phantom drops yellow rings and plate helmet. So when you get like armor and legs, you should be uh, hunting phantoms to trying to get rings. It's going to be hard. Probably you won't get it, but if you do, it's extra three attacks, so it's very good. A uh, helmet is pretty easy to get, like uh, one in fifty for every monster, and with gold. You need to do epic oak bow before you leave this island and epic leather boots because it's like for defense and it costs only six gold from NPC. So just buy it like 100 boots and enchant them to epic chances like 10% uh, from rare to epic. From normal to uncommon is 50%, then it's 20% to get rare and 10% to get epic. Uh, so you need like 100 items, so it's like 600 gold. It's not much. It's for defense. So uh, the and you should be hunting with the bow because you don't have to, to use many potions, but you should always buy some potions and food to use spells. And you should get like 25 level, maybe till the level. Just focus on getting equipment, except rings. You should be. Uh, have this equipment and would be easy on this field island field island you should get like 25 level when you start here and this is pvp area it's very small but it's it's great so here 
you have brutes and trans and on the surface you have rights and if you want to hide hard rights there are some here and of course everywhere on the surface but uh, so it would be good to to get it by yourself the curve from right and enchant it to fuse so second enchant second enchant would be perfect because it's a lot of attack and you should get like fire amulet then from brutes they drop it to one in 100 and it gives a lot of attack so another amulet you you will get probably at like 70 level or something so it's very important to get this one on as high enchant as you can get and they drop also snake one so you can enchant it and then it would be easy but uh, it's not very important and uh, brutes uh, also drops travel backpack so it's always good to have m more space and they drop it very often and of course uh, they drop plate armor you can enchant it to fuse the enchant is very good and uh, right drops plate uh, plate legs so it's very good still to enchant the fuse the enchant and then you should go to warlocks there are not many of them so you should be hunting brutes and warlocks at the same time like killing few brutes and then going to warlocks kill all of them then go back to brutes and you you should try to get sapphire rings and golden helmet feels enchant would be perfect they dropped it to one in 250 rings are always 100 uh, 500 so you need to kill like one, approximately 500 monsters to get one ring so, but it's all about luck you may get it in the few uh, world logs you may not get it even after like 100 1000 so and shield from rights would be good but they drop it so uh, so often so if anyone attacks you just switch to the southern shield or just unequip the uh, bow and of course uh, boots stay the same so another island you need uh, like 40 level and 50k to s buy certificate after 40 level it's like price li rises of the certificate I think so it's, it's good to get it on the 40 level but just focus on the equipment right like most important is bow amulet yep and maybe rings who okay. uh, desert island okay this is this is last island and game really starts on this island so pvp area is here it's very good to hunt here but someone can kill you pretty easy to it. so if you don't want to die you can go here it's like huge dragon spawn they are on the surface and they drop uh, dragon set and the best uh, end game backpack so you should be hunting but if you want f fastest xp just go, go hunt scarabs for 40 level to 60 level with the mm, with the bow any bow you can record bow is the same like skeleton bow feels enchant it, it skeleton bow feels enchant you can buy from trailers for like 60k 50k so it's pretty cheap considering that you can get 50 60k in like one hour or something on scarab so and scarab drops rings so it's also good to have but uh, if you are focused on the items you should try to get dragon uh, armor dragon legs fuse dungeon they drop pretty uh, pretty common from uh, dragons in one in 100 same with the backpack so it's not that hard to get it and it's uh, it's good uh, later so you don't have to focus on that and yeah leather boots are still good mm, what else yeah a helmet from from warlocks is still good uh, amulet still stays the same just try to le get the items from dragons and then hunt scarabs uh, to get at least like fuse dench and ruby rings and uh, second inch and royal shield because you will need it at the like si 70 level 80 level to hunt uh, sentinels because affix monsters like sharpshooters and berserkers they can like few shots you when you are using bow or wand so 
and at 50 level plus you should be like switching to one because one is AOE and it's better from group monsters etc and with rings and with ruby rings you will get a lot of attacks so you can just switch from bow to one and use Magilux is the best spell in the game and yep you can buy a second enchant school bow for like 250k so it's not that much and you will probably get the first enchant chaos boots from hunting scallops so you will get rings and boots so that's your main focus just hunt from 50 to 65 just scallops so then on the 75 to 85 you should get you should buy maybe elemental amulet it drops from sentinels but it drops pretty common uh, and you can buy it from players like 300k or something so it's still not that much here we are here and you should start hunt sentinels so you should get the fused enchant the golden books from uh, scallops previous on previous level it's easy and you you should try to get as best ring as you can uh, second enchant rabi would be perfect but i know it's pretty hard to get it and when you start hunting the sentinels you should get at least like second enchant dragon armor this would cost like 70k and th the best thing would be to make second enchant titan shield because it will help you a lot with the affix monsters etc and trolls later uh, so and feels the enchant chaos helmet if you drop from sentinels would be good so on 65 you can hunt some trolls and sell maybe items to or enchant them so on 85 you will be hunting trolls like 10 levels already so you should get first enchant chaos set and probably you will get one at least ring second enchant but my first enchant is the same like second enchant ruby ring so obsidian ring so it's good and you just hunting uh, trolls since 75 to 100 and you should be focused on those items then at 100 and 110 it's like really end game because you, sh you should try to get second enchant chaos set obsidian rings uh, second enchant and the first thing would be to get epic uh, backpack abyssal backpack from dragons it's pretty easy to get they drop it uh, so often so another thing epic to get is elemental amulet epic it gives attack so it's good to have it and it's pretty easy to get it and another thing would be school one probably because trolls drops them so so often so you will get it sooner or later on 100 110 just hunting on the trolls and then you can hunt some sentinels and if you get lucky you will get epic shield so that's good but the shield will be a little harder than those items because they drop it less commonly and of course then those this is the great great set then it's just fun with the epic chaos pieces on higher level so this is my current equipment i'm 138 level and you just need luck i got armor legs epic and boots epic and i bought the helmet epic golden but it's the same defense like uh, the chaos helmet so you don't really need it and you should try to get those rings but with rings is pretty hard because you need two of them and drop is one in 500 so and you need to be lucky to get epics so this is ultimate goal like 150 level and the full uh, chaos epic equipment epic abyssal backpack elemental amulet titan shield and gun spike sword because since to 120 you have a lot of defense so you can use sword, sword and magi turbo and drinks of course but no one uh, no one even got those this equipment so far so that would be all i think 
so since like 110 plus with this equipment you should be hunting wherever you want just what items you really need if you want to get uh, boots first so you should be hunting scallops to get the epic boots then trolls, troll drops like trick and end game items, so it's very good to hunt them. Then maybe some demons for the weapons, so it's not very hard to get it. And that would be all actually. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just whisper in game, Ashtangi. Peace.